go up and erupt, the plaque goes down the stream and blocks the blood vessel. That's how you get heart attacks and strokes. <clears throat> After cardiovascular surgery with open heart surgery, patients who are on the bypass often have microemboli because as the blood goes through the oxygenator, it activates the platelets, they aggregate, they clot, they come out of the machine, go back into the patient, and when the surgeon goes to the recovery room, his first question to the nurse, is the patient moving all their arms and legs? Because many will have emboli. But one of my friends in Germany, and one of our faculty, decided to introduce into the heart lung machine low concentrations of prostacycline and nitric oxide gas to inhibit the aggregation of platelets. When they did that, the bleeding in the chest was less because the platelets are active now. The recovery time was less and no evidence of small strokes. A major advance in cardiovascular surgery now this has been done maybe, I would say, seven or eight years ago or so, and it has yet to get to be popular. I'm surprised. It really should be investigated much more thoroughly. But I think it's a very promising approach. Uh, many other effects. Uh, we have become interested in gene regulation. If we manipulate nitric oxide and cyclic GMP in various cells, cancer cells, normal cells, we can inf influence those cells, their growth rates. Lots of messages are modified, up or down. If we do the same thing with stem cells, embryonic stem cells, we can influence how those cells differentiate, whether they become uh, cardiac cells or neuronal cells. So there's a lot of promise in this whole field as to the next one or two decades as to what we can expect from all of this. Now, there'll be things that don't work but there can be an awful lot of interesting new approaches. And a lot of these will result in the introduction of very exciting new novel drugs. And that is what I do. That's my business. I'm a clinical pharmacologist who loves to discover drugs, but I use basic approaches to, to do that and then develop collaborations for other people to help them get the studies done with translational research. Uh, we have come up with a new way, and I think, to treat glioblastoma. We've come up with a new way to treat bacterial diarrhea, E. coli, or cholera. Uh, I think there are lots of things that can be done. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.